Okay, hey everyone. Um, this is Laura, coming to you from the Aunt Ottawa movement. And I'm recording this testimonial because tomorrow I'm going to take action with Aunt Ottawa and spray the white letters of the Toronto, the iconic Toronto sign with bright pink washable paint and then glue myself to the concrete of the sign. Um, so why am I doing this? Well, a lot of people might hate me for this action. Um, I'm pretty nervous, I always am, because I know that these kind of, you know, art attacks get a lot of hate and a lot of controversy, but that's the exact reason that we're doing them. Um, we chose the Toronto sign because it's the most iconic thing here in the city, and we want to make it loud and clear that this country is burning to the ground. Um, we're responsible, these fires are responsible for 25% of our global emissions this year. And our government, the so-called Canadian government, has declared a climate emergency, but continues to fuel the fossil fuel industry with money and continues to take no action, no real meaningful action on climate change, which is sentencing us to our deaths. Instead of sleepwalk into dying, um, I'm deciding to take action with Onto Ottawa, really to publicize the fact that we are going into an action phase in Ottawa. We are disrupting the nation's capital to get our demands met. Our demands being to implement a national firefighting agency that trains and employs 50,000 firefighters so we can really support the people who are already risking their lives up there right now um, on the front lines of the climate crisis in Canada. And for our government to implement a legally binding citizens assembly to tackle the climate and ecological crisis in less than two years. It's life or death here, guys. Um, I know it might be controversial that I've hit your favorite sign with a bit of pink paint, but I promise it'll wash off. And the biggest thing that we're really just trying to bring attention to is the fact that the world is burning and we need action. People are dying right now. So I'm prepared to make the sacrifice. I'm prepared to face any consequences. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up spending the night or two nights in jail. Um, I really hope not. But if that's the price to pay, it's a very small price to bring attention to this drastic crisis. Um, I will be giving a talk um, and that will be um, Wednesday evening at 5.30 p.m. And the details can be found on this page. Yeah. Whew, I'm nervous, but uh, yeah, give it my best shot. <laughs>